In this video, we're going to define orthogonal sets, and we're going to try to get a handle on why we might care about them. Of those goals, the first is simpler. Definition. A set of vectors is orthogonal if it is pairwise orthogonal. That is, if V and W are two vectors that both belong to the set, then V dot W equals zero. At least in R2 and R3, where it's easy to have an intuition of what an angle is, um, this definition is intuitive enough. It's a set of vectors that intersect each other at right angles. But what's the significance of this? So this is going to be a little more informal. But think of vectors as storing information. For example, let's look at R2. And let's look at the standard basis vectors of R2. And let's think of these vectors as storing the following information. They store directions and this first vector will store the information one unit east. And this vector will store the information one unit north, where east and north are being measured relative to the origin. This is east, this is west, this is north, this is south. If you have a point that you want to describe, you can describe this point by counting eastern units 
and then counting northern units. And this first vector represents eastern movement. The second vector represents northern movement. And if we have this vector, say two, three, and you write it, in terms of these standard basis vectors, two units east, three units north. All the information about east-west movement is stored here. All the information about north-south movement is being stored here. So these vectors contain completely different information. What's more, they are orthogonal. Their dot product is zero. That gives us the following idea. Vectors are orthogonal if they store completely different information. We are not going to try to state this as a theorem or a definition. It's simply a bit of intuition, but it is the correct intuition. By contrast, look at these two vectors. This vector stores the information one unit north, one unit east. This vector stores I got those uh, turned around, one unit east, one unit north. This vector stores the information, one unit north. So the information overlaps. Both of these vectors vectors are talking about northern movement. And because the information that they give you overlaps, they are not orthogonal, and the dot product isn't zero.